Military officials in Ukraine are looking to use Western weapons to liberate the Kherson region. That's the first major city captured by Russian forces when the war first began. General Jack Keane is with me this morning. General, it seems to me the Ukrainians are gearing up for a major offensive, a large-scale counterattack. Is that the state of play right now? Yeah, you're absolutely right, Stuart. This is something that's been in the planning and preparation stages now for weeks. And it looks like they're beginning to set in motion what they consider to be a counteroffensive to take back Kherson City and the surrounding area, which would be a major accomplishment if they're able to pull this off. And certainly the weapons that the United States has been providing to them and the Europeans as well, particularly the HIMARS, has really helped them quite a bit in terms of defeating Russian artillery, which has been the main weapon system that the Russians have been using to take territory away from the Ukrainians in the eastern Donbass region. This is a major, major movement by the Ukrainians, Stuart, and the outcome is uncertain. But what we do know is the Ukrainians have the skill, they've got the will, we believe they have the people to do it, and now they also have some weapon systems that are going to help them do it. it it's going to be a very tough fight. But this will help determine whether this war is going to be protracted for years to come or will the Ukrainians really be able to take territory back and drive the Russians out. Do we have any military people, Americans, on the ground in Ukraine? I don't think we do. Uh, but I'll tell you what, this much I do know because I have received briefings uh, in the Pentagon. We provide them exquisite intelligence on a regular basis, not just once in a while. I'm talking about continuously. We have full visibility of that battlefield. If there's a Russian unit that's moving on that battlefield, we have visibility of it and we are telling that to the Ukrainians. We're using all of our sources to be able to do that from imagery, uh, surveillance, uh, surveillance of the battlefield. We obviously have satellites. We have airplanes that can stand off, uh, not over Ukrainian territory to do it, signals intelligence. And we, we also have other assets as well. So, yes, we are helping them. I don't believe we have people on the ground, but I, I don't know for sure. I don't think we need to have, frankly. Uh, let's change, this. it's not the subject, but the, the theater of operations. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs, General Mark Milley, has a warning about China's military. He says the message is the Chinese military in the air, the sea, have become significantly more and noticeably more aggressive in this region. And they're trying to expand their influence throughout the region, and that has potential consequences and not necessarily favorable to our allies and partners in the region. That's a strong statement from General Milley. What do you make of it, General Keane? Yes. Well, he is out in the region. He's going to have a major meeting with all the chiefs of defense in terms of our allies and partners later this week in Sydney, Australia. He's currently in, in Indonesia. And he sounded an alarm, something that we've been talking about here for some time. President Xi, and he's been in power now over 10 years, certainly changed things rather dramatically in terms of the intimidation and coercion of Taiwan across the Taiwan Straits and also our allies, and to include what General Milley is talking about in harassing our airplanes and our ships. The aggressiveness is obvious. And I think what we have to consider seriously is that President Xi, while he's watching the war in Ukraine and he's watching Russia have a lot of problems with it, President Xi, as opposed to pausing and slowing down his desire to take over Taiwan, may indeed be increasing it in terms of time frame. Why? Because we are right now outgunned and outmanned in the region, but he knows full well the United States is working very hard to correct that. That'll take a few years to do so, but that encourages him maybe to do something sooner rather than later. Second problem is you're aware of this. He has, President Xi has economic setbacks yep. right now, and they're destined to get worse. And it may be better for him to do something sooner, again, rather than later economically, as well as it is militarily. That's the concern we have. And Milley certainly is going to be out there trying to shore up our allies to work together in the region to push back on China's aggression. That's just the kind of analysis that we need. Thank you very much indeed, General, for supplying it. Always appreciate it. See you again soon, I hope. Thank you. Yeah.
Yeah, thank you. You got it.